Arr. Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to Hexed Education. Today, we'll be continuing our lesson on the various ships available from the Banner Dungeons mod. And today, we're going to have a bit of a bit of fun here. We're going to be invading a pirate island. Yep, that's what that is right there. You can see that is it, there's a ship underneath a, an, an, uh, an island there. And believe it or not, when this when it spawned in, because I did have to spawn it in, it came with the island. So, uh, what well, you can tell if it's a pirate island or not? Well, if you look on your mini-map, look very closely, you see an X marks the spot. There's treasure buried there. That's how you can tell this is actual pirate island if the uh, ship wasn't a dead giveaway. So let me just show you how rare it is to find one of these pirate islands, shall we? So I actually found a mushroom biome, just happened to find it before I found a, a, uh, a pirate island. So not enough, enough about that. Let's head into here. So what, I, what I've got here, I've got concussive shot on my hunter's handgun. I've got a diamond giant sword. I've got a meteorite axe. I've got a diamond pick because I need it. I've got a crystal bow with one stack of arrows. Probably won't need it, but I might anyway. I've got slightly damaged diamond armor. Not, not else, nothing else to worry about. Got a little bit of dirt in case I need it. Uh, I've also got a knapsack because I need it there. I've also got, no, as, as normal, 10 heart canisters. So if you see my health drop below uh, the one bar's worth, it means if I wasn't wearing that, I'd probably be dead already. So let's, over, let's head over here and see what we can do. Now, I, I mean, I was, I've never actually assaulted one of these before. So my impression is that we're going to have a lot of guys to shoot at. And we've got to come, come at us. So just like before, but I'm going to try and make land as quickly as I can. And go after these guys. See, so, okay, so I, I see the spawners. Yep, they're spawning. Spawners gotta spawn. One down. Yeah, I figured, I figured there's no reason to, to waste my uh, my concussive shot. And, and, until I come up against more than one at a time. Oh. He's taking pot shots at me. I'm taking pot shots at him. And again, when you're doing this kind of stuff, it's always helpful to have at least one piece of meteorite gear or equipment to make uh, collecting items much faster. Okay, so I think there would ordinarily be a door there, but it kind of went, went away. I don't know what's, what's on the other side of the island. I think most of the active areas is over this way. So, here, here we go. Oh, here's another one. For some reason, I am having flashbacks to when I used to play World of Warcraft. This is reminding me a lot of Booty Bay. Oh, here he comes. The two. I guess his pathfinding is not that good. Oh, oh he was waiting for me. Oh, bastard's waiting for me. Go take a take a bath. Oh crap, the guy got him behind me. Oh dear, I'm in trouble. I think one of them is an infernal. Unloading. I feel like the LAPD here. But trust me. I needed it. Whoa. Mm. Mm. Try and attack him with a pork chop. Mm. Got him. Whoa. Okay, so this place is real, it's fairly dark, so I'm, I'm going to try and drop down. Is that it? Okay, I thought I saw a regular spawner for a second there. Um, I'm going to try and get, get through as much of this... Uh, Loot as much as I can, and I'll, I'll give you a recap later on. So we're doing we're doing all of our major our major raids. Why is there? Oh, because there was a, a iron door here. Makes sense. Okay, so this way we've got a little walkway moving into. I saw firing. Came and seen there. I'm just firing. Might have been a little overkill, but oh well. Oh, gold armor. I think it was a crystal bow. 
I just remember that the crystal bow is actually the highest base damage of any of all the bows in in more bows. So even even though you know it's, it's un, unenchanted, it still does quite a bit of damage. Oh, two of them, um, but they're gold armor. In general, gold armor you don't have to worry about as much. I feel like Legolas going in there with my bow. Okay, so in the crew quarters, let's get this stuff and move on. Okay, so moving on. We have the... the oh! The guys in the ship saw me, so might as well say hello to them. Two shot. Okay, I guess, uh, let's see if this goes anywhere else. So it looks like this leads into the crew quarters this way and then dead end. So it's just this one floor. Let's go about this way. Going back across here, and I think that's empty. So this way, oh, there's, a, there's an upstairs. Cool. Oh, and it's infested. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm nauseated. You guys are nauseating me. I'm gonna take you out with my giant sword. That's not even a euphemism. I'm actually using my giant sword. Okay, so dropping down torches. Okay, going over here. And this looks like another dead end. Oh, another way up, uh, upstairs. A little gangplank here. I gotta be careful when I use the word gangplank. It has a very specific meaning. Oh, okay. Uh, looks like I actually go over there, but I'm going this way. Or, oh, I'm withered. There's an infernal fiery sticky wither exhaust. And he just stole my, my he just stole my, my hunter's handgun. Oh crap. I might be dead. He stole it again. I can't tell how much health I have. Ah, come on. Get clear. Whoa, okay, so if I was not wearing my uh, heart canisters, I would definitely be dead right now. Okay, be right back. It's going to take a minute to recover from that. Oh crap, oh crap. These guys ambushed me, I wasn't safe. Oh god, they're coming right for me. Oh no, it's a defender. This might be the toughest battle I've faced so far. Oh crap, there's, no, there's more than one of them. I gotta wait this out. Ah. Even though he's dropping his guard, I can't see his hit I can't see him to hit him. It's only it's a pretty small window. At when he drops his guard. He's got slightly more health than I do. Screw that noise. Okay, you know what? I'm going old school. Okay, so now I'm back at full health. Let's continue with this. So I definitely underestimated how much how much damage these guys can do. That guy with the wither really messed me up. Where is he? Where's he behind me? Is he in front of me? 
There he is. No, it's not him. He doesn't have a gun. So where's the guy with the revolver? Oh. What well, diamond armor, of course. Hmm. Okay, he's way up there. Oh, he's glitched. Yeah, he's flying off the edge. Okay, so I'm going to set it to dawn. Because I do not want to mess with this area at night time. Oh, crap. They're still, they keep coming. Okay, so I'm amending my recommended uh, gear for this, uh, this raid to include full, fully enchanted scale armor and an epicked out ender giant sword. We just hit the mother load. Excellent. So, uh, cauldrons can be useful if you happen to need iron, because you, you, you can break them down in, into several ingots. I always check the, fort, the, the furnaces in case they have coal. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab this stuff and be right back. Okay, so let's head, let's head back out and see who we can kill. This is where it looks sealed. This, okay, so I think there's a crossroads here. This place is confusing. It's hard to tell where I'm going without, uh, well, I actually have a map, but I need something better than a map. Okay, this guy is glitched. I think he's trying to climb up the vines and he's failing. And he's stinky and making me nauseated. Okay, you go over the edge. Yeah, stay there. I don't want. I don't want to go over the edge, though. As far as I know. Okay, let's go over this way. Now I can't help but notice that the. the oh dear, that's a boss. I am ninety-nine percent sure that's a boss over there because I recognize that that dagger he's using. So I may have to start shooting very quickly. Yep, that's a captain. Why is he on, on water, though? Oh, it's not. It's, it's, it's wool. He's in his dojo. He's got the he's got the uh, trickster dagger. The last one we fought on the galleon had the ninja dagger. This, this one causes blindness and creates doubles temporarily. It also has the invisibility too. So if you happen to get caught against one, watch the weapon. Don't watch the the person. Now the way you can tell is because the doubles don't seem to have a shield. Oh, wait, did he, no, he didn't lose it. Just keep spamming it over and over again. Where is he? There he is. Okay, whoa, he got me, he got me, he hit me. Where is he? I'm trying to hit him with a torch. No, no, don't go outside. Come back inside. Oh, he has teleport too, that's right. Wait, where'd he go? It's funny, his ability is actually somewhat similar to uh, Wukong's juke in League of Legends. Okay, I think I might. I think he might have teleported somewhere strange. Is that him? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's him. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go down in a minute after I heal back up. So again, if if, if I didn't have my uh, oh shit. Where'd he go? I could have sworn I just saw him. Was he behind me the whole time? That was really freaking lucky. Okay, I'm gonna heal up and be right back. Okay, so I'm most of the way back up. Let's head back in. I'm gonna work. I have to work my way back up that way. Anyway, it's not bad. Not a bad thing, because I do want to sort of recover some of the ground that I may have missed along the way. So over here, through here, over that way is clear. But this way is not. So up from here, over here, that way is good. Up here. 
Now this way, okay, this way only has one direction to go to. Here's, here's where I, oh, I forgot this stuff. I was so busy getting, getting killed, I forgot this thing. And the flower pot, well these aren't actually flower pots, they're kind of like next generation flower pots, kind of useful. They are, no, 0100, they're basically flower pots, but they're, they're, they are kind of like upgrades, you can put more, th more types of things inside them. Useful for decoration. Okay, now I don't think I went up the. Oh, did I go this way? Yeah, this is. I think this is where that guy was coming after me. So this is like the side entrance up here. It's hard to tell which part of where the where the base begins, and the. Uh, well, it's hard to tell where the base begins and the mountain ends. Okay, so split here. Go right. Okay, I went that way before. Let me just check this way. I think I went this way before. Okay, so this, this is the way over to the over the kitchen. Then this way must lead back towards the. I guess I'm gonna call it the captain's dojo. So I'm assuming. Oh, I missed this crew quarters. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna loot this quickly. Be right back. Okay, so let's head back out of here and let's check this way. Okay, this is the way I was before, so I totally missed this. I must have just blown right by it. Okay, so up here, turn left. I think we're heading yeah, back heading out towards where the captain was. And if that was him that hit me from behind, he should still be here. Oh, is that him? Yep, that's him. So he should be fairly low on health. Let me just try and grab him. I don't want to knock him over. Did I pull him? No, I think I hit him. Or... Yep, there we go. Okay, he says 75 health. I can take him. So I gotta watch where the where the knife is. That's what that's who he is. I'm pretty sure his his, his assistants can his um clones can hurt me also. Uh, but they only have one. They only get one hit. Uh, one hitbox. I got him. I got him. Very cool. Okay, so I took me quite a lot of rounds, but I got the Trickster Dagger, which is one is a very good weapon, indeed. Okay, so let's move on here. I, I still need to clear out that that ship. I'm wondering why this little thing over here is up. Oh God. Yeah, and generally you don't want to knock them off the off the edge, but I'm a little gun shy right now. No, no pun intended. Okay, so I think there are more guys around here. Looks like we're heading up towards where the the X is. I guess that makes sense. All right, so my understanding about the X is you have to dig fairly low down. So let's see. Oh, okay, so we got an emerald block, a couple ones down. We got a chest. Okay, so I think this is it. I don't think there's anything anything special underneath as far as I remember. If there is and I missed it, definitely let me know in the comments. So emerald block, iron, gold, and lapis. And here we have a couple extra things. Okay, so we got the, got the treasure marked with the X. Let's just go around here, see what else we can find. I think it's sort of, this island is sort of built that it kind of twists upwards towards the X. So I think that means in order to get back down to where the ship is, we can have to have to scale it down this way. Okay, so this is where those guys were. So it must be down here. Get back to the captain's dojo. A lot of blue wool here, and not to mention a redstone lamp. I think I'll take that too. Might come in handy. All right. So this way, we came in. Uh, this is like this. Is, I think it's just an observation area over here, as far as I can tell. 
So we came in this way, so let's head back down here. Okay, go back in through this way, avoid the crew quarters this time. We cleared that. We got this, so I believe that's everything. Yeah, this way, we already tried, tried that, and it got us back to the same area. So I think the next stop is, is just to go to the ship. I think what's, what's confusing me is I don't really see a direct path onto it. Oh, okay, so that looks like it. So I need to go down one floor from here. In general, I do try and find direct paths to things because it, it's a way I avoid missing stuff. And with, 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 with this, with this, these, um, this let's play, I'm not just trying to uh, complete. This, complete is definitely not going for speed. That's, that's for sure. I, I want to try and get as much stuff as possible. Okay, so we went through there, went through there, and yeah, I don't, I don't actually see. Wait, is that something down there? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so I that was an that was the accident over here. I think am I going the wrong way? Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, so I think this is what I was missing before. I'm over here, and I need to find a way down. There we go. This is the way. I, I remember I went down this way to to, to hunt down that healer, but I didn't go much farther than this. So just this way, and then this leads down to a hidden beach. Oh, it started raining. And I don't see anything really visible around here in terms of stuff, but there are okay oh so there's there's this here which is like is this like part of a ship or I mean this this is the cruise lounge. I don't see anything 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 in here it just looks kinda cool. I like the layout. Okay, so there's that, and there's this, and I don't see a direct connection. So, oh, there it is. I think that's how you do it. So you gotta go back up this way. That's the way I came in. And you connect. Why don't you take out the vines? With this little gangplank. Cool. Okay, so now we're on the ship. I, I took out at least three of the guys on here. So this looks like... Actually, I'm not sure what kind of configuration this is. It doesn't look that familiar. So let's check upstairs in the crow's nest first. It's very possible that we're done. I think, I think we might have gotten through everything. I just want to be thorough. This looks kind of like a small galleon. But it's different. It, 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 and this this mass here from one is a little different, I think. There's access down there. Let's check up, let's check up at, the, at the top. Yeah, this is definitely a different configuration than any others. This is to be the pirate island ship. Okay, let's check the cabin. Oh. Well, yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm 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 seeing redstone. And I think it just might represent blood. But it always worries me whenever I see redstone. I mean, a lot, a lot of things worry me. I, I worry when, when I see a perfectly ordinary room with, with a diamond in it, in, inside it. And I'm like, wait a minute, where, where's, the, where's the boulder? Where's what's going to come out and kill me? Let's head downstairs. And it looks like this is a galley. Oh, cool. So we, we got, uh, got a pumpkin. Jack Lantern, bed. It's gotta be the captain's uh, chest. No coal. Another cauldron. Okay, let's head back up. Alright, so that's that. So yeah, I think I think that was the redstone was just meant to meant to represent blood. Okay, so how do we get downstairs, though? Oh, of course. So one here, one here. So there's, I think there's supposed to be a trap door here too. So let's go downstairs. 
and yeah, that way and that way. It's not symmetrical. Okay, we got a cabin with a lot of vines. It's a little odd. I guess this is uh, you know the economy class. Oh, maybe it's the brig for all I know. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna loot these, and if I find anything interesting, I'll let you know. But I think we're about done. Okay, so yeah, I think that was it. I believe we, we, we conquered this, this pirate island. Uh, I actually had to spawn in a, a third big backpack to, to hold all the loot. So I'll be right back, and I'll give you the full loot recap. Whew. Well, that was quite a haul. Three, well, two and a quarter double chests full of loot. So let's see what we got here. We have a couple of swords, we got some, some helmets, uh, including a couple of encha enchanted ones. Uh, we got some chain leggings, we got a couple of enchanted chain boots. We have nine diamonds, we have a redstone lamp, a couple of doors, I might pick those up. We have quite a, a number of metals here. I've got some three emeralds, flint, leather, gunpowder, uh, chest. We got eight cauldrons over here. I got a saddle, we got five Ive Enders, we got music discs. Uh, quite a bit of food here, various types. We have a soul, an enchanted soul reaper. We only got a soul reaper, soul reaper in the last episode too, with against up against the galleon. Very nice. We have uh, actually that's my crystal bow. Sorry about that. Uh, we we got we got a Legia bow. Very nice. Uh, we got aluminum. So we got some got quite a bit of essence here. We even got a scroll of escape. Very useful for for getting back to your your bed. We got an, an iron spear. We even got a a, a piece of thief's chest plate. So that's a piece of the hexagon armor. Okay, so we also have uh, some more armor here, um, mixture of uh, chains and 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 iron. Some enchanted, some not. We got some some gold enchanted here. We got blocks each of iron, gold, lapis, and emerald. That's from the um, that the, the X marks the spot chest we picked up. We got some more more coal. We got six diamonds in, in this chest. Leather, gunpowder, books. We got the jukebox. Even if you don't listen to music, pick up the jukebox. That way, you can hit with a sledge, you get a chance to get back the diamond. Somewhat useful. Or if you want, you can use the crafting table. Same thing with, with the brewing stand. You can use that to get back the blaze powder. We got music discs here. We got uh, these flower pots. They're they're kind of cool. We got uh, the golden apple. You know what? Hang on. Grab that. We got, we got golden apples. We 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 got regular apples. We got lots of food. We have a uh, scale. Uh, armor that's that's from Project Project Zulu. Not the best thing in the world, but if you have nothing, have nothing else, it's not terrible. That's actually my backpack, so that's what I use. We have a diamond glaive, not that, not too bad. We got scythe, we got living metal axe. We have a healing staff. Remember, this healing staff can only be used on other players, so it's not really useful in yourself. Uh, we got regular staff. It can be enchanted. We have uh, three hexagonal essence, not too shabby, and iron spear. And last but not least. We got the Trickster Dagger off of the, off of the Pirate Captain. Very happy about that. Very good weapon. We got Iron Sword. We got some, some Chain Armor. We got a Jack-O-Lantern. And we, we got Poisoned Potato, which I think I can use. Let's see here. So this is the Flower Pot, which you can, well, I guess you can call it Flower Pot. But it can actually hold almost anything that I want you to put into it. Instead of a regular Flower Pot, we can only put certain things. So I, can even, I think I can even put... A pickaxe in a flower pot. Oh, kind of cool. It makes a very nice paperweight, but the nameplate doesn't come up through, so it just comes out as you know, zero four, zero, zero one four zero one four zero. So when you see that, it's a flower pot. Use it for decoration. So I think that's it. This has been a very successful raid. Uh, we, 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 we took we took out the pirate island. Um, in our next episode. We're, we're, we're going to be tackling uh, some more some, some of the castles from uh, from better dungeons. It's, it's quite a few. That's going to span a number of episodes. So uh, this, this has been, been Kanakadia for Hexed Education. And I'll see you next time. In the meantime, class dismissed.